Merch Jaffer here with the latest Big Brother evictee, JC Lynn. Were you surprised that Kevin and uh, Helena decided to keep Josh? And what do you think went into their decision? Mertz, I am not surprised at all that they flipped on me yet again. Um, there's no shock there. I kind of figured that this was probably the week that I'd be heading out based on, you know, who I was left in the house with. But um, it all makes sense that they kept Josh after finding out that they had a final three with him or they had like a safety thing with him, whatever it was that Kevin had said. Um, made a lot more sense and made me feel better. It wasn't my campaign that didn't land, okay? It's just the fact that they had that deal. It made me feel a little bit better. Can you outline your relationship with Helena in the house, starting from when you first entered to what happened during the triple eviction and finally what you thought of her goodbye message to you? Oh my God. When we first got in the house, Steph, Helena, and I really hit it off. It was just like a thing. We clicked. We're like, let's work together. And then as the game went on and as the more Helena started to work with other people, I think the friction started to build. Tensions were rising. And it's like, I never fully trusted her. And she would always be like, you're my number one. And I didn't believe it. Um, so there was always a little bit of friction. And then after the triple eviction, it just sent everything out the window. I don't know why I ever trusted her again after she backstabbed me the first time. Um, but I wasn't shocked. I wasn't shocked at all. I should have seen it coming. And um, yeah, our relationship after the goodbye message, it really threw me over the edge because I was like, are you trying to manage the jury? Like, isn't this a relationship that you're trying to manage here? And she didn't do a good job. I'll tell you that for free. So now I'm just hoping that she walks through the jury doors next. That's all I have to say. <laughs> um, in, your, <laughs> in your final speech to the house guests, you said that Betty and Josh were the strongest duo. Did you mean that or were you being sarcastic? Um, I actually did mean it a little bit, but it was more so just a way to make Kevin and Helena feel really dumb if they chose to keep Josh in the game. I wanted them to be like, oh my God, are we idiots? Just for even a split second. Um, so just like giving, you know, giving it a little bit to Betty and Josh like that. I think that also put a little bit of a target on their back because I think Betty was upset. The little laugh she gave me said it all, but I think she was probably like, why are you calling us a duo? That's not what's happening. So I think it was just stirring the pot a little bit. I had fun with it. Um, I want to turn to the vote that sent Gino home. What did you think when the vote flipped on Gino? I was shocked, of course. I don't know why I'm shocked every time we get played like this, but I had a really weird feeling that Gino might be voted out because I don't fully trust Kevin and Helena. As I said, they've done it to us before. Why wouldn't they do it again? And I know that Gino's a super strong player. They might have thought this is the one chance we can take him out, and they did it. And so although it was shocking, I wasn't really surprised. I kind of had a feeling it could go down. When the Gummy Bear Alliance of Five was made, did you think that all five people in the <laughs> room would stick to it and keep him? It was weird because I had like hot and cold days. Some days I was like, this is great. Like everyone's really on board, especially Kevin. He was like the cheerleader for the Gummy, Bar Gummy Bear Alliance, okay? He was like, we just need to stick to the five. And some days I really did believe him. He was really good at acting to be honest. And then other days I was like, this is falling apart. I don't trust these people at all. Just very hot and cold. It was a very confusing, chaotic relationship. <laughs> um, whenever Marty said you could kick your feet up, what did you think? Run for the hills. You are not safe. If Marty tells you to kick your feet up, you're done. You're going next. You're definitely hitting the block. And there's a good chance you go home as well. It is just a curse, that phrase. I don't know what it is. And the funniest thing is I don't even know if Marty realizes that he was doing it. Um, but everyone in the house knew. And when Gino told me, oh, Marty told me to kick my feet up this week. Everything's good. I was like, Gino, this is terrible news. This is not going to be good. And then look where we ended up he was out the doors that Thursday. So it's really weird how the phrase works out, but it is a curse nonetheless. Um, can you elaborate on your showmance with Gino in the house and how would you define your relationship? Would you say he is your boyfriend? Oh my gosh, Mertz. <laughs> That's an intense question. No, I wouldn't say he's my boyfriend. Definitely, I have feelings for him for sure, um, which I think... We, we were both taken by surprise in the house. I don't think either of us were expecting to find something real per se, but no, he's not my boyfriend. We're just kind of going with the flow. 
seeing um, what life has in store for us at this point. We've not even gotten to experience what each other are like outside of that house. So I think that'll be really important in the jury house. And it'll just be kind of fun to hang out and then just see where it goes. The jury members are currently Herman, Moose, Gino, Summer, Marty, and now you. Yes. Are you surprised by who is on the jury and who is still in the house? Very surprised. If you would have told me day one that this is who the final four is going to be, I never would have guessed. Honestly, it's, 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 I feel bad saying it, but a lot of quote unquote floaters are in the end still, right? So it's like, I'm shocked. The big players obviously got taken out, which isn't surprising, but I think the amount of big players that got taken out in the same time frame, kind of, that's what shocks me. Who do you blame the most for your exit? I, I don't even know where to begin. I guess Betty. Let's do Betty. Even though I'm mad at Kevin and Helena, they ultimately had the power to make that decision. Um, I blame Betty for putting me up on the block because it was completely emotional. I think she made a huge mistake. We should have been working together this week. Knowing that Josh screwed me over, Kevin and Alina screwed me over, I was giving pretty much my entire game to her, ready to give her all of my loyalty. So I think she played herself there, and I think she might be heading out next. She doesn't win the POV. But of course, I also blame myself because I couldn't pull out the win in the Expedia blindfold POV challenge. So that really irks me as well. I'm still thinking about that. So Betty and myself, it's a combo. With you being evicted, that leaves Helena, Kevin, Betty, and uh, Josh in the house. Can you discuss their games and rank them from who you feel is playing the best and who you feel is playing the worst? Honestly, I think Helena is, oh, this is tough because it's like, although I'm really annoyed with her game, I feel like she's played a great game because she's yet to hit the block. So she's doing something right for sure. But I think Josh, the fact that he's escaped the block so many times is incredible. And I feel like there's a reason for that as well. He's pretty much every single time he's been on the block, he's been unanimously saved. So he's also playing a great game. So I feel like it's almost a toss up between Helena and Josh playing really good games. Betty, I think is the underdog. She's just like hustling out there. She's doing her best to stay off the block and fight her way through this game, which I really respect. And then Kevin, I think he's kind of, he's also an underdog, but he's, I think a mastermind like I think he's pulling a lot of strings behind the scenes that none of us even know about so it's really hard to break them because they're so different but I'm gonna say I don't respect the way that Helena is managing relationships I really don't so I'm going to put her third I'm gonna put Betty in fourth Josh second and Kevin first actually and how do you want to be remembered as a big brother player I guess I would like to be remembered as somebody who took myself off the block whenever I was up in the double and the triple eviction. I think that is so sick to be able to say, and I'm really proud of myself for that. Um, but I guess just somebody that like played this game with no regrets. I, I stick by my actions. I don't regret anything I did in there. And yeah, I hope I was entertaining as well. <laughs> Amazing. Jesse Lynn, thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to talk to you.